Don't know if it's gonna work well. That was frustrating. Twelve miles an hour. We are getting ready to paint the cabinets first. It's kind of our trial of the Raptor liner um, because if it turns out not good, we can practice there. Hi. Hi. Can you uh, tell us with the cabinets what you are working on? So I'm using Raptor Acid Etch Primer. Nice. And then we'll be spraying the interior of the cabinets white as mostly a practice for the exterior so we know how it sprays and what settings we need to change. So. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't painted it. Yeah. Um, but now I can practice for the outside of the truck. So cabinets first, nice. then door jams, and then the outside. What's the other bottle that you have? Uh, this is Grip Number Four, which you don't need to use U Pole products, but I did because they came with the cans. But this is a, a adhesion promoter for areas you can't sand really easily. Um, so I went through, I sanded the whole thing ground on the metal and then use soapy water uh, to clean it up, make sure it was degreased. And now in the areas that couldn't sand really well in the corners, I'll be using the U-Pole grip number four. So I'm just doing, whew, that stinks. Just the areas I couldn't sand, like in here. So sanding this, this lip that I couldn't reach very well. This is clear, so you can't see when it goes on. So you kind of got a dress that is working. <laughs> Same thing in these, these skinny regions over here. Um, I'll be spraying this in the corners. Now you can't see me. How fast are you going? 12 miles an hour. 12 feet? 12 miles an hour. 12 feet miles an hour. Nice. All right, it's painting day, very excited. So we've got a load of Raptor liner. Look at that. Acid etch primer. We have uh, the traditional U-Pole spray gun. Uh, this is the splatter gun that makes the rough texture. Um, I bought a siphon fee gun from Harbor Freight. This is like 27 bucks or something like that. We're gonna do our first layer with this by watering it down and that creates a nice smooth surface. So we've got uh, white that we're putting in the cabinets, we have black that we're putting in the bumpers, and a tintable base with beetle is what it's called uh, for the exterior. So today though, we're just going to be doing the cabinets and I'll show you our setup. So I own a very old Husky compressor from Home Depot. Uh, this does not have the power output necessary to spray and so Sawyer gave me the idea of linking two together. I didn't want to buy two uh, I didn't want to buy a big, giant, massive spray gun or a compressor because it's expensive. So I bought a cheapo McGraw from Harbor Freight. I think it was 200 bucks. And this as it stands is probably not enough to make this work. So this is a uh, 1.6 horsepower, 4.0 cubic foot per minute at 90 PSI. Um, and so I was reading it and it's just not quite enough to do it. Um, they say you can but it's recommended to have more. So what I did is I linked the two together. And I did that through a teeth fitting. Just a minute. I did that through a teeth fitting on one of my air compressors. So both of these feed into the same. I set the regulator pressure at 45 uh, for the spray gun for both compressors that's really important because otherwise you pump the other shutters tank up and let it out of the regulator which is funny all right so both compressors lead into the t-joint which is up here and i fed that into this black line i just quickly stapled this to the wall 
and brought it out to the front. This way I have easy access. So the first thing I have is a, is a, uh, a shutoff valve, so if I need to shut off or spraying, we can. Then I did a particle filter, uh, which also is an air dryer, but then I did a one-time use, or a, it's the cheapo, I think they call it tiny filter. It's like $2.99. Um, anyway, this was a quick release fitting, so I can disconnect these and connect it right into here when I'm ready to just use it for air, for like my tires or whatever. So this is uh, just a paint thing, so disconnect on each side and allows me just to plug into it, just to use for painting. From there, we have our hose, and then we'll go from spray in our driveway. I'm gonna back our truck up a little bit to get a little further away from the house. It's a nice calm day today, so we shouldn't have any overspray, and I'm excited. All right, so our cabinets were sanded uh, with an orbital sander. Uh, we then came in and we made sure there was no particles in the corner. I used an ice pick to pick some extra stuff out sanded the corners, and then we went in with uh, the um, acid etch primer on all the bare metal. So you can see we covered our weld spots, I covered the bare aluminum, and then we used the UPO extra grip in the corners, it's kind of hard to reach. So down here, this is hard to sand, so we went and had and put that uh, in the hard to reach areas, and also uh, the front, kind of the, the heavy use areas where it may rub off a little more easily. All right, so what we're using is a siphon spray gun with an 1.8 millimeter tip. Kind of hard to read there, sorry. With a 1.8 millimeter tip. And we'll be able to run a whole can of... Don't know if it's gonna work well, but we'll see. Here, we're just doing a little bit of... Is it clogged? That was frustrating. Dad, we want the top open. You want the top open? Yeah. Okay. Open. <laughs> All yours. Well, as you can see, I'm using a different gun. What happened was, I still don't know. So it didn't spray well, almost no volume came out, and although it was thin to the recommended 20%, I still don't have an idea. So we are spraying at 90 PSI straight out of this with a 10% approximate reduction. And it's working well. So this is the results from the first bottle. Uh, we went, just did a quick thin layer, and at 90 PSI it leaves very small, truck bed lining mark so it's nice all right here we go painting.
So to clean this, I'm just running the paint sprayer through a uh, thinner. To clean out the tip. So I've been doing that every bottle after it got jammed last. It's been working well. Okay, so we are using some crazy chemicals with Raptor liner. It's pretty awful for you. It's why I wear a respirator, all the things. But, um, so this probably doesn't necessarily matter because it's one healthy thing that's different. But I guess it's better than all unhealthy things. So, use some uh, oops, coconut oil. And it works like mineral spirits or paint thinner. So, rub it around. And it gets your paint off your fingers. Pretty awesome. Bye. Bye. Bye.